what we've seen over over the past six years is trauma, wherever it comes from, exhibits itself in very similar ways. So the the treatment model that we use helps all of those different types of trauma. As I said, it, initially we talked mostly about um, child sexual abuse and neglect, and we've moved far beyond that. That's part of what we do each day, uh, but we deal with children whose mom or dad was deployed. Uh, overseas in Iraq and Afghanistan uh, and as a result that parent suffers from post-traumatic stress or worse yet that parent has lost their life. Uh, we deal with children that have chronic medical conditions and because of what they suffer maybe they're a little smaller than the other kids that they play with. Maybe uh, they never got to swim in a pool or ride a bike or play t-ball and as a result when they look in the mirror they see something a little bit different than their friends and their classmates. Our job is to make them understand and make them truly believe that they are just as good as everyone else and just as capable of succeeding in life and to be proud of who they are and be proud of who they see in that mirror because they are people, they have hope, and they have dreams. It makes me extremely proud to see the kids that we've helped um, be able to come back and help the other kids who are just starting out, whether their trauma is new or it's you know old and they're just starting with us. The kids who have been through our program, they can sympathize with them, they understand. It's one of those silent connections where you don't have to speak, they just know. And, and um, Cody, you know, she's, she's there at every single summer camp. She helps those kids who are it's their first time experience. Um, she's at the, the farm daily, and uh, whether it's helping with barn work or just kind of hanging out, she gets to be a kid um, in today's age where you can't be a kid like that anymore. Summer Camp Marley's Mission is the best. You can't find another place like this, the overall concept. It's just like, when people come here, they, they're scared, they're nervous, they come here for several reasons, and then we interact with them, we help them out, and really it's just amazing how when they come here and when they leave, the idea of it, it's just, they change, they change their minds, they have a different outlook on life, everything just, it falls in place for everyone. Watching the the change in the um, children coming here and getting to be a part of it, is kind of what really attracted us to keep coming because you um, hear about all these uh, organizations that help people but actually being a part of a local one and seeing the difference um, that's really kind of what keeps you going. I think it's absolutely incredible because like Cameron said it is very local and it, it affects our community and it's awesome that we get to help and we get to see what our volunteering does. We see a change in the, um, the kids who come here and it's great to be able to interact with them and see that what we do really does have a difference and it helps. Once we start doing all the activities, like everybody starts to open up a little bit, so it's kind of nice to see. It's nice to see that um, what we could do helps, helps them, so. They're completely changed. They grow, they come out of their shell, they talk with the horses, and they treat the horses as if the horses need um, encouraging. We try to boost the horses' confidence, especially when um, during the camp we have obstacle courses and the children will all set up their own obstacle course and lead the horse through it. And it's really powerful to hear them talking to the horse and encouraging to go through the obstacles and get through it because they're really talking about themselves and they help themselves by helping the horses. So it's, it's really great. It's a great experience. They come to counseling on their own with the adults and knowing that um, like someone my age can make a difference kind of gives you a little boost of confidence in yourself. Even though you're supposed to be helping them, it kind of still helps you in a way. I would invite anyone who's interested in learning more about Marley's mission to consider signing up to volunteer for an event or maybe even come up to the mission and have a look around and have somebody show them everything about it because I think once you're here, you really sense that it's, it's important and such a great opportunity and it's awesome to be involved in it and you really do see the impact of what you've done. CYS ended up coming to my house. They asked me a question, they asked me if I was ever physically, emotionally, or sexually abused and I answered all of the above. Well, I was very confused because I didn't know how horses were going to help me. I was nervous on how it was going to work and what was going to happen and never really been around horses before. 
we don't get to like know the names of the horses, but I call my pony um, Love, and it's a brown, it's a brown pony with a with like a black stripe going down its back. Me and that horse do everything together. Like that's that's what I bring into my sessions every time. I become a different like a different person in a better way. Before, all I wanted to do was die. That is all I wanted to do. And I tried a couple times. But now all I can think about doing is living and I have a future now. Doing all the things that I want to do, like traveling the world, like I have such like high hopes for myself now. Which is, and before like I, I didn't care about whether I lived or died. Marley's mission is a place where you can go and let out everything. You could talk about anything, say anything, and all that anyone is gonna do there is help. I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't have anything, I wouldn't be alive if it wasn't for the Marley's mission. Once they start opening up, you start to open up a little more with them, so it's kind of like even though we're supposed to be the ones helping them, they kind of help us too. I remember there was this one girl, she came, pulled up with her mom, and she wouldn't get out of the car. She was very nervous, crying, said she didn't want to come, and walked into the camp. She sat there, she wasn't talking to anyone. We'd go over to her, we tried to talk, but there was not a word that came out of her mouth. She was just completely shy, didn't feel really comfortable. And so, the days went by at camp, she'd come back, still not a word from her mouth. And I believe it was the last day, and she ended up saying hi. And we were all in complete shock. We were just so happy that she ended up opening up in the end. And there was a smile on her face, and we just knew that this, this camp changed her. It really it had an effect on her, and that's all that matters. Once you're involved, you, yeah. you just, you really do fall in love with everything. You're just gonna, you're gonna stick with it. When you look at the depth and breadth of what we do, over 500 children have been seen in six, about six years at Marley's Mission. 500 ch children free of charge. We have a campus that operates six days a week. Over a dozen horses, a lot of hay, a lot of grain, a ton of manual labor, uh, a need for tractors and grass cutters and things to move things that horses use every day. And our focus is always on the program. We're focused on spending our money on healing kids. And so where the community comes in is to help us wherever they can, to do what we need to do to continue to operate six days a week and build hope for kids in this region.